Hey guys, so a couple of days ago I started a video on um, preparing this little 3.5 horsepower Mercury motor that I picked up. Originally I was told that all it had was a leak in a gas tank. Uh, that turned out to be not true. Uh, it did have a leak in a gas tank, um, but it also had a missing plug in the bottom of the carburetor that would not allow the motor to start. Had to replace that, so I've done quite a bit of repairs to this so far. Um, had to replace this little valve here, which it did not have, so I ordered the parts for that. Now that works. That's a fuel um, on and off, so you don't have to continually pull the cowl off to turn your turn your fuel return on and off. Um, right now we're upgrading the water pump. Once I was finally able to get this to start, I realized the water pump wasn't working and I had nothing coming out of our little tube here. Um, so I ordered the parts. It was an entire kit. Made it pretty nice. Um, this is the repair kit, the number, in case anybody else has one for a 2010 um, Mercury 4-stroke, 3.5 horsepower. They cover quite a few years, um, so you should be good no matter what the year is, as long as it's a 4-stroke, 3.5. Uh, um, comes with everything. It's got the new pin, um, some gaskets, so you don't have to buy everything all separate. I will say to be careful because that little pin falls out. It is very small, as I think it did fall out. Yep, there it is. Little pin here. This is what keeps the impeller wheel intact with the drive shaft. I'll show you that in a, in a minute or so. Um, but when you order the kit, it comes with both gaskets plus the metal plate. And those gaskets are going to sandwich that metal plate plus the impeller wheel. Um, the one thing I wish I would have been able to see is when <clears throat> when I took mine out, it literally fell out in pieces. Um, it would probably be in your best interest to try to see if you can watch how that impeller is in there before you take it out. The only reason being is because you're going to have to spin the drive shaft in that same direction. As you, when you put the new one in, it's just going to make it a little easier for you. So these are the parts I'm taking off. That's that metal plate. There was a gasket on that side, sandwich to that side as well. That one's still intact on there. This one kind of fell to pieces. Um, that's your housing, and that's the impeller wheel inside there. So the only reason I say you want to pay attention is because when you buy the new impeller, uh, for those who don't know, this is my first time doing this, so I'm just trying to make it easier for the next guy who tries to do the same thing. Um, but they're straight. The fins are actually straight. Um, but once they're inserted into the housing inside this little metal cup, um, they take form of the way the drive shaft spins. So if you can make sure to see how that goes, it's going to make it a lot easier when you put that back in because you're going to have to twist the drive shaft in that direction to make those wheels fit. Um, It'll still work no matter which way you put them in, but it's just going to make it a little bit easier because then when you turn the motor on, um, buddy of mine's telling me who's already changed one out on his. He's got a, a bigger one though. It's a 40 or 50 horsepower Yamaha. Um, that once the motor turns on anyway, it should spin these into the correct direction. Um, but I just feel it's probably a little easier if you're able to see it as it comes out. But as I said, mine literally came out in pieces. And here's two of the fins. The third one, I have no idea where it went. So it probably disintegrated, got eaten up. I have no clue. Um, while I'm in there changing everything else in this, I decided to change out the thermostat at the same time. That's the part number as well, uh, just in case anybody needs it. And I ordered the gasket for the thermostat housing. Again, just trying to make things simple. Um, I started a video before and one, my phone died. And two, I still had to wait on parts. The thermostat just came in yesterday. All the others were already here. Um, got the lower unit here. I just finished cleaning that one up, getting all the old gasket material off. Um, that was a pain in the ass. Uh, razor blade, 
and quite a bit of time trying to scrape the rest of that off. Um, and then I use Marble Mystery Oil just to get some of the corrosion out of the holes inside here. And you can't see it, sorry about that. Um, and then just a little brush that you would use for a, a paint gun, like an automotive paint gun. Um, I had one lying around just because I've got several paint guns around the house. But this is all I use. And I used a syringe just to contain some of the mess. Um, but I actually picked up a CVS Pharmacy, as you can see there. Um, dipped it inside the Marvel Mystery Oil and just pulled back on it. And that's what I used to put it inside the holes. Let it soak for about five minutes in each hole. And then ran this down inside there. I actually tried to like screw it in and then unscrew it. made it a little easier. And then once you could uh, feel the resistance, which just got a little easier, you are able to kind of, you know, back and forth motion to, to really agitate and get it out of there. Um, I cleaned up all the bolts. They were a little nasty. Now they look brand new again. Well, I just used a drill with a wire wheel attachment. Um, pretty clean. And uh, then when I put this back together, I found this was recommended. So it's a Quicksilver Marine Grease. I picked it up at West Marine. It's like $14. That was with tax. Um, it's an 8 ounce tube. Um, I found another manufacturer that recommended it. When you're reassembling, they're saying two greasy spines on the top and the shaft here. And the if you put it on the impeller wheel, they're saying it makes it a little bit easier to slide in because they're saying uh, this is actually bigger than the cup size. And there's a little recess. That's where that pin's going to go. And it's going to go in line with this indent right here on the drive shaft.